So um, what I'm going to do here is a quick demonstration of how to install the NGL graphics library that we're going to use as um, our main graphics library this year on a number of units. Now the website here which is um, NCGA SAR JMAC graphics lib will give you some instructions. I'm just going to go through the basic install of the library and what we need to get it up and running. Now it's kept under version control using um, BZR and you can see here this is the line we need to do to download. So what I've got here is I'm logged into a Linux box. I'm using my Mac to record this because it's easier to do recording and at the moment I'm at the root of my home directory, so home jmac and what I'm going to do is I'm going to download the um, library and um, install it on my machine. Um, the commands that we need to do this is we need to use BZR, which if it's not installed in your machine, it is at the university, apt get install on a Ubuntu box, BZR should install it. We're going to create a new branch, so BZR branch, and then we've got to tell it where to look. In this case, it's HTTP colon backslash backslash NCCA star dot AC dot UK forward slash JMAC slash code with capital C and NGL all in capitals. If we do that, you can see the progress as it's downloading all the different revisions. Once you've got the initial branch, all you have to do to grab any updates is change into the NGL directory and do a BZR pull and all the new versions will come down. Now, this is designed to sit in the root of your home directory, this library. Um, it just makes it easier for building and all the other projects that are going to use it. So, if it's placed in dollar home, this will work and it will work well. If it's placed anywhere else, it will not work and you will have to start changing configuration files and everything else. So, for ease, I recommend that it's installed in the root of your home directory. Um, if you need to put it elsewhere, it's doable, but you need to know then how to adjust the Qt directories and everything else. So while this is downloading, we'll just uh, wait a little while. Um, hopefully, it's not going to take too long with my internet connection at home. Now, as I say, here we go. So now you should see that we've now got a new directory called NGL. We cd into NGL. You see that there are a number of different things, and the main project that we're interested in at the moment is NGL.pro. There is also a PyNGL.pro. At present, on version 5 of NGL, this is not ready, so I don't recommend using that. So, what we need to do, we need to type qmake ngl.pro, and what this will do is run the Qt um, make for the system, and you can see now we've got this uh, make file here, and we type make minus j4. And what that will do is run the make file. In this case, J4 just tells run it on four threads. And you should see that it's running through. Now you'll see that there are quite a few um, hash warnings there at the moment. This is because I've just started porting from um, OpenGL 2 to OpenGL 3.2 core profile. And these are just notes to me that there are certain things that I need to do and to change. Hopefully by the end of next week, um, all of this will be done. And you can see it's sort of gradually going through, um, building up all of our code, and hopefully it won't take too long to um, get that ready. Um, and there you go. Now, what we should have in the lib directory is this libngl.so. This is a dynamic link library um, which are applications that use the NGL library are going to access. Now to do this we need to tell the runtime system where to look for this library and the easiest way to do this is to set the LD library path environment variable to tell it where to look. 
So what we're going to do is vi r dot bash rc, which is our um, bash file. My one's quite complicated. Um, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Um, and what we want to do at the very end of this file, we're going to add export ld underscore library path equals dollar ld underscore library path colon backslash and then we need to put in our home directory so in my case it's home slash jmac slash and then ngl slash lib and that's going to tell the runtime um, library linker where to look for the ngl library so I'm just going to save that file source my bash RC file and that should be ready. Now there is another project um, that I've just uploaded and again you'll see that on the demos pages and that's called Simple NGL. I'm going to pull down that branch um, as I say if you look on the demo pages you will see this and this should if we change the directory you can see that there is a simple ngl.pro. I'm going to qmake to build this. I'm just going to make clean and a make. And if all works well, I've not actually tested this on Linux yet, so I'm doing this live. I'm hoping, I know it works on the Mac, I'm hoping it works under Linux too. We should be able to get a very simple ngl demo up and running. And this hopefully is where it's all going to work. No, nope, it didn't work. Ah, okay, I can't actually demonstrate this because um, the NVIDIA extensions aren't available via my SSH tunnel. What I can, however, do is show you the one running on my Mac because that will work. So when it runs on my Mac, here we go. It's a very simple demo. It gives us the ability to Rotate our teapot, translate it, zoom in and out along the camera plane. That's well, along the Z plane, the camera's at 222. We can go full screen by pressing F, normal mode by pressing N, and toggle wireframe with W and S. So, hopefully, if you follow this and it works, you obviously will need to install all the prerequisite libraries and everything else um, which are mentioned on the web page. You should be able to get um, NGL up and running. I will do a series of tutorials um, later to explain lots of other features of NGL as well. That's it for now.